So hey what's up guys welcome to find gap and in today's video I am going to teach you how you can install pip on your windows 11 so without any delay let's start. So first of all as you can see that I am on my command prompt and if I type here pip minus v so you can see pip is not installed on my pc so let's install this one. So first of all I will open the google and search here like pip website we have to open the pip website uh, you can see the first link here you can click on it and from here i will click on this installation option scroll down and uh, here you can see download the script from bootstrap so we have to download this link we have to save this link in our desktop so let's do it first of all i will right click on it and click on save link as and uh, suppose I want to download this on my desktop so I will select desktop and click on save so currently you can see that the file is on my desktop next I have to right click on my desktop and click open in terminal so shell is open and currently we are on our desktop and here I will type python dot backslash and our file name which is get pip dot py I will press enter here and you will see that the downloading of pip will be installed automatically don't worry about this warning we are going to fix that but first let's just download this one so this is download is completed next we have to copy this path and add to our environment variable so i will select this one and press ctrl c to copy this and uh, if you want to see that what's on this path you can paste this here so you can see that here currently uh, we have pip files so we don't need them we just simply have to open our environment variable so if you will type environment you will see this option edit the system environment variable so I'm going to click on that from here I will click on environment variables and from here I will select edit okay so what I'm going to do inside the system variables but first of all inside the user variables I will click on new and I'm going to name this variable like pip and we have to paste that link at this position and I will select OK and from here I will again click on new and here I'm going to type pip and I will paste that value here at like this okay so this value is pasted at this position you can see let me press OK and again I will click OK here I will close this PowerShell again right click and click on open in terminal and here let me type here pip minus v okay it is saying that pip is still not installed let's just check the issue okay i am back and one mistake that we have made at this position you have to select this path and click on edit from here you will see different paths and here we have to double click and paste that path at this position and now click on ok and again click on ok so by doing this process you will see that the pip will be recognized here okay let me again uh, make sure to cross the command prompt and again I'm going to open the command prompt oops we have opened something else again I will search for command prompt and here I will search pip you can type here like minus minus variable or single minus v not minus v okay p pip minus v like this so here you can see that pip 24.0 from this path and python 3.12 so friends, this means that pip have been installed on our PC successfully. So if you have any question, you can ask us in the comment section. We will try to answer your question. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. And finally, thanks for watching.